Morning Urchin High School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Friday, October 5th, 2012. I'm Tara Benito. And I'm Tyler Flemming. Congratulations to the ninth grade football team for their impressive victory over Bishop McCourt last evening at the Point Stadium. The ninth grade Rams beat the Crushers for the first time in over 11 years and broke the ninth grade record for points scored in a game en route to a 58 to 36 victory. The Rams were led by Colby Warshall, who scored seven touchdowns, Johnny Kutchman, who passed for three touchdowns and ran for one, Andrew Freer, Freer who passed for two touchdowns and two two-point conversions, Ryan Ball, who scored on two two-point conversions, and Dan Verhosek, who scored on a two-point conversion. Good job, boys, and good luck at your game next week at Somerset. The Junior High Lady Rams soccer team defeated Forest Hills yesterday 7-3. to M. Hill had a career game and scored four goals. Allison Patola <laughs> scored two goals, and Keely Smith scored her first goal of the season. M. Hill, Allie Mattis, and Mara Trabold each had one assist. With this win, the girls improved their record this season, eight wins and two losses. The all-academic night with the military is a sort of college fair for high school sophomores, juniors, and seniors who may be looking at trying to attend a military institution. This year's event will be on Thursday, October 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the banquet room at the Holiday Inn downtown. You can stop in the guidance office for additional information. The Somerset Area School District, along with the PIAA, wants to promote good sportsmanship. Supporting your team with a positive message is what everyone is striving to achieve. The following are certain rules that are in place for fans attending sporting <coughs> events at Somerset. Shirts are, be required, are required to be worn at all events. Full facial paint is not permitted. Logos, numbers, logos and numbers painted on the face are permissible. Whistles, air horns, belts, and vuvuz. <laughs> Vuvuzelas are not permitted. Taunting, harassing, or disrespecting an opponent is not in the highest ideals of sportsmanship and is not permitted. It is the belief of the Somerset Area School District and the PIAA that, fo that the focus of the spectators should be on the student athletes that have worked very hard to play in their individual sports. Your cooperation in promoting sportsmanship and mutual respect while attending the Somerset Area School District events will be greatly appreciated. There will be a meeting of the high school reading team Tuesday, October 11th after school. The meeting will last from 3 until 4.30 p.m. Applications are now being accepted for this year's Outstanding Young Woman Scholarship Program. In addition to, be, to being a fun-filled learning experience, the program awards its winner a cash scholarship of over $30,000 in tuition scholarship assistance from various colleges and universities. Any junior class girl interested in participating in this year's program can pick up a pick up an application in the guidance office. The deadline is October 29th. Stop by the school store and check out the pink gear Key Club is selling to support the fight for a cure for breast cancer. Art students attending the Pittsburgh Glass Center November 6th are reminded that the $10 deposit is required to reserve a seat. Payment is due by Friday, first come, first served. The girls volleyball team will be sponsoring a pink out Tuesday, October 18th against Bishop McCourt. Order your pink out shirt from one of the players or stop in the main office. Cost is $12. Random fact of the day, if you go into space without a pressurized suit, you will explode before you suffocate. And regarding yesterday's fact, Miss Butthers Ms. Butther <laughs> disapproved the fact, so ducks quacks do indeed echo. However, they are still not mammals. As always, please check the school bulletin and power school for all announcements. Thank you.